Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are scrolling the map on your open of Rosales 4. Oh, 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 there we go. There goes Florida. And there goes Yemen. Oh, oh god, that big white blob of the Pacific. And the Caribbean. And Yemen again. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. Come to our resting point here in the capital. Oh, it's gonna relax here in St. Petersburg. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. We are renaming, though. We are now Dicks Ahoy. Yes, indeed. Oh, I, I clicked wrong, didn't I? Shit. It doesn't save it if you click wrong. And then click on a water tile. There we go. Now we are now Dicks Ahoy. Perfect. I'm sure Russia will love that. Okay. War with the Ottomans. We have joined Spain in their war against the Ottomans. Great. It's another chance for us to push the Ottoman shit in. If we get any kind of war score at all, we're just going to try to make them spit out somebody stupid. Because most likely, if we do anything awesome, like if we just invade the hell out of the Ottomans, Spain's just going to take all that shit. I don't want Spain to take a damn thing. I'd rather uh, make them release somebody if they can. Like... Uh, they can release Greece up here in Kaffa, which is fucking hilarious. But if we make them release Greece, then we can sell them a bunch of provinces down here, right? Greek Orthodox provinces? Yep. Or we could fund Greek rebels, maybe? No. Greek is an accepted culture. So we can't really fund the... Can we? Nationalist rebels? Hold on. <laughs> what kind of nationalist rebels in Monaster? Walking to Georgian nationalists. Okay. Morian. Oh, Morian. Oh, okay. Moria. Wow, they have a... Oh, okay, so Moria would be the one that would uh, become Greece. Or would, would get all this stuff if we funded them. That's a lot. But I think that's worthwhile. Something to put our money into. Go for it. And if we can just kind of sit around and let the rebels succeed, that'd be nice. Yeah, do it. Doesn't cost that much. Uh, fund an army all the way. That's fine. Uh, we don't really need to use our navy. <laughs> we do have a small navy here. Just go dock the hell up. Uh, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Oh, my vassal had a navy out here. My vassal's navy is just going to get crushed. That's okay, though. Okay, we're going to go kill some rebels. You're just going to sit over there. Uh, I think we are going to have to leave one army over here to police all this shit. We can't piece them out until we piece the Ottomans out, I don't think. That really sucks. It's going to delay the annexation of Bulgaria and Moldavia, but oh well. So who can we afford to bring to the front? You're coming to the front. You're coming to the front. That's 100,000 guys. That's more than the Ottomans have. Right? Now oh, they have 130. But whatever. Yeah, that's that's a lot. And then these guys are going to be over here, and these guys are going to be over here. That's fine. Let's take a look at what they do. Because they may not even come for us. Although they probably will. We are the closest enemy that they have, so they'll probably come fight us. They won't be too adventurous. Alright, why don't we drop a siege and you guys can come home? Just go over there. I want to get you home. Okay, Korea has completely fallen. Group up, go over there. Okay, we don't need everyone over there. Just have to siege and get over here. Same thing down here. We're just going to detach sieges. Uh, do you have forced march turned on? No. Okay. Just going to detach, detach sieges and get our armies over here. Looks like he isn't going to come invade us just yet. But he'll probably group up all his shit and do just that. Let me take a look and see what he's at war with. Yeah, he probably won't go fight Spain. He's a little too far away from Spain. But we're close and easy to invade. So I'm sure he'll invade us. Uh, probably don't need to continue influencing these clowns. Oh, I guess we will. Okay, there we go. 42 stack. Now he's just going to chill in Constantinople. Okay. Uh, my vassal's already here. Interesting. Okay, well then you can go there. And you can just go to Yedish school. That's fine. Drop a siege. He could also come this way and go attack my small army over there. Oh, my stupid, stupid vassal piece of shit. He was sieging, and then he stopped sieging just so he could go stand next to me. He's like, I'm going to stand next to your army. That's what's cool, right? Everything's cool over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now they're 15. It was like five guys. Now it's 15. Oh, Christ. That's too many. 
We actually won that battle. Wall, lol, lol, lol. So yeah, he is coming to Sinop. Yep. Okay. Group you guys up. Let's come to Mingrella. Let him just come at me. Come at me, bro. We'll take these two. Actually, you know what? Let all this fall. This will all burn, right? We're going to get as many nationalists to spawn over here as possible. Let all that burn. And uh, you guys can instead come this way. That sounds like fun. Now, he doesn't have a ton of manpower. We've got 300k. He's only got 80 or something. So if we beat him in a few battles, his manpower will be ruined. It'll be a fucking joke. Uh, Ogre Horde wants peace. Not yet, bro. Not yet, bro. Oh, rebels on our head over here. God damn it. Stupid rebels. Fighting something. Oh, my right word, whatever. Okay, that has fallen. And the rebels have moved on over here. Kill them. I'll just let you guys stand around. It's fine. It's all good, bro. Oh, and he is coming up this way. It looks like he changed his mind again. Hmm. Here, go to Kurdistan. Put him ready. I'm kind of just do a joint invasion over here. It's a joint invasion. Uh, yeah, you can also come over here, and we'll move forward to Sinop. And you guys can go Urzrum. You guys can go Sebus. We'll occupy four at the same time. Something like that. Because he doesn't really have that many units. Certainly nothing like we have. Oh, he went to Wallachia. <laughs> Just to fight my vassals over there, I guess. Wow, you really didn't die. I'm amazed that you didn't actually die. Hmm. Uh, losing 41 a month. Wow. Uh... Yeah, well, we don't even have any expensive advisors except this idiot. Mm, no, just go for the cheap guy. Save money. Because we need to be able to fund our units as long as possible. Look at this guy trying to avoid me. Cute. Oh, yeah. Double team. <laughs> 101 versus 20. Please just annihilate the army. Come on, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Smash it. Come on, take it out. Kill them all. Damn it. We only killed like 5,000 of them. We lost 5,000 guys. Really? Oh, Persia joined? Yep. <laughs> okay. I have no access in Iraq. Interesting. Are you at war with Iraq? No. So he just has access over there. <sighs> and we're going to have to cancel our access with Ming, but we can't do that until we get out of this war. Shit. Uh, yeah, go help out over there. Finish that up. Let's peace out, Oirod Horde. I really don't want to peace out anyone until we can uh, do the deal we want, though. Damn it, this is inconvenient. And now he's just gonna go attack my little armies over here, damn it. Oh, and these idiots, oh my god, how did I forget about this? I don't know how I forgot about this. So much junk going on right now, this is crazy. Battles aren't going to get us any war score, so we are actually going to have to occupy stuff. 
These battles only give the war leader war score. That's Spain. Nobody else gets war score for that. Only the war leader. It's really unfortunate. Looks like my vassals. Oh my! Oh my! Vassals are chasing him around. Nice. The Ottomans have grown weak enough that our vassals can kill him. That's awesome. That's so awesome. And you're gonna run to Al Raqqa. Good. Let's see if we can't catch him. Oh yeah, we got him. Nice. Got Azov, okay. Come on down to here, we can move them forward. Karkin? What? Oh, is that down here? Oh, okay, good. Group up, go this way. Just get out of his lands. And as soon as we get out of Ming, we can um, cancel the access we have there. So let's get out of Bulgaria. Probably don't need this anymore. And Moldavia. Free up the diplomats. We still have them as a rival, right? Yes. Oh, we have a free rival spot? Huh. I don't even know who deserves a rival right, right now. The Ottomans are really the only ones I care about. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> Poland, maybe? I have no idea. <laughs> Why are you guys talking about Quebec? Sure, go fight him. Are we going to catch him? Looks like it, yeah. No? Oh, Spain has an exiled army here. Shit, I thought Spain was going to tackle him. Crap. Crap on a stick. Okay, we're still not out of their land, so I can't peace out yet. Hold on, dude. Oh, he wants to come play. Cute. Okay. Let's fucking play. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, can we please just fight? I'm sick of this shit. Annihilated him. Nice. Go to the capital. Yep. Please fight. You're going to run away, aren't you? Bastard's just going to run away. Uh, you guys can... I think we'll just start dropping sieges. Should be fine. Oh my god, this guy is just... You know what? Forced march for you, baby. I love you so much that we're going to fucking force march on your face. gonna love it at Levitz. Let's just keep going back and forth, try to smash that guy. Oh yeah, look at Poland down here, just eating them up. And Bohemia, really? You guys are allied with Poland and Bohemia? Yeah, wow. Spain has strong allies, holy shit. Let me make sure my relations are good with you. <laughs> that might be a good idea. Okay, you're still not out of there. Oh my god, get out of those lands, Jesus. And are we going to fight? Yeah, we're going to have an epic fight. Good. Kick some ass. Slaughter him. Good. And he's going to retreat all the way back to Persia. Good. You just keep pooping out sieges. We're just going to spread out over here because... Well, we'll keep one army down here in Aleppo. Just to be able to run around. Siege all the things. Kaffa has fallen. Come down here, I guess. Sure, go help in a deer. Whatever. Oh, these guys, right. Um, Kill the rebels. We're still not out of there. Crap. Hurry up! <laughs> oh my god, hurry the hell up. And he does have more units down here, but I'm not really worried about it. Oh, 
hello. Look at this. Can we catch you? Yeah, we can catch you. What's up, bro? Hello. <laughs> nice to have Force March today. I think we can turn off Force March, though. Ah, oh, it's locked on again. Stupid Force March locked on bug. There we go. Go down that way. And... Can we kill them? Can we please kill them? Kill them, and then come up this way. Okay, are we now out of Ming? Thank God, we are finally out of Ming. Okay, let's piece out the Oirats. Uh, we can't vassalize them, but we can make them spit out the Mongols. That's nice. So do that. I don't care about your... Oh yeah, revoke your cores on my stuff. And, uh, revoke your core on Nanguda? Nah. Yeah, I guess, whatever. Revoke your cores on whatever you can. You have no money, and I don't really want your trade power. You can keep all your alliances, I don't care. Alright, the Oirat Horde has spat out the Mongol Khanate, who likes us for some reason. Oh yeah, thank you for getting... Oh, released in peace, right? Yep, plus 100 for released in peace. That's nice. And, uh, Korea. I wonder if they're small enough to annex. I hope they're small enough. Here, come back from Spain. I hope they're small enough to annex. That'd be nice. We'll find out, won't we? In the meantime... Yes, go to Hama. We're gonna catch him. We are... Yes, we are. We're gonna catch two of them. Good. Cool. And you can drop a siege and come here. You can drop a siege and go here. I should go to Araka. Yep. Form a little barrier here. Kill them all. Oh my god, it's just... They're melting. They're freaking melting. And our agent was discovered over here. But we did... We did get rebels to spawn. So these are all gonna try to flip all the Greek states. That'd be so nice. Especially if we can do it during this war, while they are distracted. All of their armies are down here in the south, so they won't be able to do anything over there. If we can get Moria to spawn, that'd be so awesome. Trapsund has fallen. Good, good. Uh, move up to Izmir. Just siege all the things. And we're in the capital? We're the siege in the capital? No, Spain got there first. Well, I'm not going to help you if you got there first, you little idiot. Um, I'll go to Izmir then. <laughs> I'm taking my ball and going home. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alright, let's talk to Korea. I think they're small enough to annex. We'll have to find out. Irkutsk, or Irkutsk has finished colonizing. Good, colonize there. And we won the Battle of Tarabulus. Good. We don't actually have any war score, unfortunately, because those all go to the war leader. Those go to Spain, all these victories, but that's okay. As long as we get to look good while we're doing it, right? He wants to go fight me in Al Raqqa. That's hilarious. But go ahead. Circassia has fallen. Good. Not sure if we should bother going over there. Go over here instead. Okay, free diplomat. Let's talk. Peace, Korea. Yep, just gonna annex them. 52 aggressive expansion. It's gonna be 116 overextension. But we won't have it for too long. I think we're gonna wait until um, until we have the call for peace. For now, just um, go sit in their capital, I guess. We're going to wait until we have the call for peace uh, so that we don't have to do it right away. 
I want to be in a situation where we do it when we want to, and that'll be after we finish the war with the Ottomans. Because once we annex them, we got to be able to sell their shit to our vassal. And we can't do that if, um, you know what, I think that's enough. You guys can just stay here. <laughs> shit, we have too many units down here. You can't sell things to a vassal while you're at war. So we need to get out both wars right about the same time, if, if possible. Uh, but can we negotiate peace? What's our war score? 4%, yeah. So, even though we're winning all these battles, we're bringing up the war score for Spain, but we're not bringing up our own war score by winning these battles, which really is dumb as fuck, because Spain's not winning these battles. I am. Oh man, that's annoying. Such an annoying game mechanic. But what are you going to do about it, you know? Just complain to Paradox, I guess. Abkhazia has fallen. Sinop has fallen. Abkhazia. Abkhazia. Oh, that's here. Okay. And, yep, the rebels are actually making progress. I approve. Let's go back to funding rebels. Um, could do Georgian nationalists. Sure, why not? We'll just let as many rebels do whatever they can. Poor Ottomans, they're just so fucked. He's retreating to the north? Where are you gonna go? There's like nothing, that, everything in the north has been conquered already. Or is in the process of being conquered. How far can you run? Jesus. There's a big army. Are you actually going to escape or you want to fight? 30 September. Now he's going to escape. Oh, stupid Poland. or That's Bohemia. You should totally fight that. Alright, I'll fight it then. And they're still coming. Okay. No, they changed their mind. <laughs> yeah, that's a big stack of units there. I wish this war score from all these battles that we're winning. All this war score is battles. All of it. I w and look at that. That's all Russia. All of it. I wish it was um, our war score, but it's not. <laughs> I'm tempted just to piece them out because this, this war is just not going to really help us in any way. <sighs> 4%. Fine. He won't even give me a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, just piece them out. Sorry, Spain. Oh, they're not going to like that separate peace. It's going to be 10 years of separate peace pain, but uh, it's good for us to get out of the war. It's just it's not really going to do any good, and we can continue to fund rebels over here. So that's not a problem. Why don't you guys come this way? Uh, you're going to have to go around the Ottoman lands, bro. Like that. <laughs> you guys go this way. Uh, that should be fine. Is that everyone moving? I think. All right, let's go ahead and peace out Korea. And next, your dumbass. There we go. And we're going to sell as much as we can to Qing. Oh, we don't have any diplomats. All right, well, hurry up and give me some diplomats. We're over our overextension limit. Damn it. Or we could just release Korea, right? Let's just do that. It's easier. That way you don't have the overextension problem. 
Works for me. All right, let's go ahead and start integrating these three idiots. Have you cored this yet? Yes, you have. Good. Look at that. He spent all his freaking admin points coring that, so we don't have to. I approve. And we've spawned more rebels. Oh, fantastic. Moria nationalists everywhere. And his armies are so trashed right now, he can't do anything about it. I love it. All right, let's start annexing um, Bulgaria. Ryuku entered a coalition against us. There is now a coalition of Ryuku against us. That is awesome. I cannot even express how awesome that is. That is on levels beyond comprehension. All right, we're annexing all three of those clowns. So these guys are all going to disappear soon. That's great. Are you guys small enough? Oh my goodness, he is almost small enough to vassalize to us. Oh, that would be such a coup. I wish I had more diplomats right now. Fortify Nurcha. Sure. All right, where the hell's Nurcha? That's over here, right? There it is. Fortify Nurcha. It's a good mission. Gives you army tradition. Group those guys up. Oh, we can't. Why not? Why can't we group you up? What? Fine, go home. I don't know why I can't group them up. Something's wrong with those units. Yeah, we're going to get rid of three vassals. That's great. Um, let's check. Who's in the coalition against us right now? Ryuku and, per and uh, Japan. Interesting little coalition you have. Dissolution Act. What's that do? Stability cost is cheaper. Okay. I like that. Everyone, please continue to go home. And you guys can go back to protecting Crimean trade. Sweden declared war on Finland. Ah, oh, shit, I should have vassalized Finland when we had the chance. Crap. Well, goodbye, Finland. Oh, Norway has spawned. Really? Really? Hmm. Norway has spawned. Okie dokie. Uh, we can lower the funding again. And when we do that, we can also go for expensive leaders. Go for the plus threes. Why not? Means more technology. Alright, I think everyone's home now. Yeah, no more... Um, you guys can group up. Why don't I put you over here? Get out of here, people. You guys have no more rebels? Good. Keep the rebels under control. Very nice. You guys are able to group up now. I don't know why you couldn't previously, but okie dokie. He has rebels. Well, I'll go kill him for you. Because I released him, and he, he's released with the same religion as us. So that's fine. <laughs> I like how even though we have all these rebels and we have this gigantic penalty of negative four for all of our tech points, we still have extremely good uh, diplotech, despite all that crap, right? All right, half of you go to Moscow, and the other half go to Yedison. That'll work. We need to end this episode here, so thank you guys for joining me today. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time, where we will integrate three of our European vassals and perhaps start the integration of Kazakh or King or Korea, someone else, probably. And we're definitely going to be going to war again, because that's hilarious, these coalitions that are against us. The coalition of Japan and Ryuku. Oh no! <laughs> See you guys next time.